Hello and welcome you guys to my new awesome tutorial about the harmonic series. Actually in the last video we learned something very important. We learned this harmonic series which actually looks like this. 1 plus 1 over. So actually this is 1 over 1, this is 1 over 2, 1 over 3. And if you add this up to infinity you will be have a divergent series, okay? This is very important because we will use this feature that the harmonic series is diverging to infinity in this video to prove a very, very cool thing. Actually, uh, this video will also help you to understand a little bit more later on what we, all, we will be doing. And actually, this all starts off with looking at the series, okay? in another way and I will show you how to look at it uh, 1 plus 6 and so forth so actually what a um, mathematician from Swiss did and he was a very very famous mathematician it was Euler what he looked at was he said okay let's look at this series and rewrite this in another manner okay and what he said was one could rewrite this in something like this, okay? Just have a look at it. We will have, uh, I will explain why this works, okay, actually. Now, and this continues with using the prime numbers, okay? So, pi k, pk plus 1 over pk squared and so forth. You can imagine yourself what will happen. Actually, why is that true? What Euler said was, if I had this product, okay? I have this product and if I multiply out one part, okay, of this. So, I just multiply out one with this. Then all I get is... I get all the powers of one uh, of one over two, and then okay, here is one over two to the first power, two to the second power, third power, and so forth. And actually, you could see that this is here. So one is here, the one half is here, one over four is here, one over eight will come here later on. And actually, he said. Okay, one could say, okay, that is not equal to the whole sum. Then he said, okay, if I add another part with another prime number, then what will happen is that I can even construct one third is here, then I can construct one over five with another factor which has one over five in it, then another factor which is one over, um, okay, one over six can be constructed as a multiplication of one over two and one over three, okay? This is what he has done. And um, now he had a, you can ask yourself, okay, let's imagine we have only a limited number of prime numbers, then this would mean this product would end at some point, okay? Uh, but if that product ends at some point, then it has a finite value because, I will explain this here, because what this is, is it's a geometric series. If you remember from my videos, we had a video on the geometric series and what this actually is, this means this is equal to 1 minus 1, not 1 minus, but 1 over 1 minus 1 half, okay? And this just continues on 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3, 1 over 1 minus uh, 5, and so forth. And you can actually see that this these numbers are finite. And if we have a finite set of prime numbers, then this product would be a finite number. But actually, on the left-hand side, or better, the harmonic series is diverging. And that is, it has a result that we have infinitely many prime numbers. Because if we only had a finite set of prime numbers, then this product representation would be finite, being a contradiction to the infinite or... Um, divergence of the harmonic series and actually that concludes our lecture and we will use this trick 
to prove something more powerful for the zeta function later on okay and that's actually it i wish you a lot of fun and um, please subscribe if you want to see all my new videos because there are many many new videos coming online about the zeta function and about taylor expansion about the gamma function all that important stuff that is very very cool okay so see you guys